After months of landslides on a private property in Rock River, Clarendon, representatives from the Mines and Geology Division have begun to investigate the cause of the problem. As we hear in this report, land slippages have also affected some of the grades. graves. The Health Department and personnel from the Mines and Geology Division visited Rock River, where a persistent land slippage problem has left residents dreading the worst. Much of this private property has broken away along with a house and three graves. Two other graves are on the verge of collapse. Senior geologist Canute Ricketts says initial investigations have so far pointed to two possible causes for the breakaways. He says more investigations will be done. We're unable to say um, directly what exactly is causing this movement, but we anticipate that is the increased pore pressures brought about by um, the, um, of course, rainfall which, which occurred recently, um, which, of, which of course compounds the existing saturation that, um, that was brought about by the broken means. In the meantime, those who live on the collapsing property say they are scared to sleep, especially at night, because the house can collapse at any time. I'm scared because at night when I go to bed, I can't sleep, I'm afraid, I just have to get up and look. I'm scared. I don't know what the next problem would be. I don't know what will happen next. If we soon reach down a gully with the land. Well, right now, I'm not too sleepy at night time, you know. I can't sleep comfortable. Two nights ago, two, one o'clock, I wake up, I can't sleep. I have to just look through the window every five minutes, I have to just, I can't sleep, so I can't stay in a cell. The senior geologist has offered a suggestion to stop the land slippage. See if we can run off, um, reduce any amount of, of, of um, water that's added to the slope or to the general area. Roof run off or, or any form of sewage that we have on site, reduce all forms of runoff into that area. That's one. Um, if we can... Um, speak with the local authorities and have them um, cut off the main. So um, just in case there are mains that are still leaking, we'd have to have those um, um, turned off. Kalisha Williams, TVJ News.